so hey guys welcome back to my channel developers corner so today we are going to do login api integration and then we will store our token in local storage so let's start so first of all what we have to do we have to do validation part so let me open signup.js to the side so it will reduce our time if we copy paste the code so you have to import use formic from formic and yup okay then copy this schema control v change it to login schema here we don't need first name last name and mobile we don't need remove this null label it's not required okay same here so we need to do and we need to pass dot required email address is required so same here we need to do dot required email address is required okay this is done now after that we have to copy this control c control v remove first name last name remove password one and then remove this and give a alert to check if it is working properly json dot stringify values okay and change this sign up schema to login schema ah, now go to input email so on change on change is equal to formic dot handle change handle change for what email okay then on blur formic dot handle blur for email then we have values so value is equal to formic dot values dot email okay then div dot error so formic formic dot touched dot email then formic dot touched dot sorry not touched then dot errors dot email so this we need to do now copy this control c same we need to do for password so instead of email we will change it to password so validation is done let's check once so login oh okay button type submit okay and oh sorry so we have to write on submit formic dot formic dot handle submit okay now if i try so it is giving errors if i write i am not able to write why let me check on change okay hmm. if we can remove for this yeah now it is working so now if i write then email should be valid then if i write at the rate gmail.com then it is working properly yeah both are working properly after that this is done 
now what we will do is go to user slice okay copy this control c control v so make this register user to login user we need to send the user data okay out slash login out service dot login copy this login user go to last control v control c and paste it here so control x change this register user to login user so state dot user will be action dot payload if state dot is success then we have to show that toast that user log in success fully okay this we need to do so our user slice work is done after that we will go to user service copy this control v login then it will go to user slash login okay let me check so we need to export login okay now if we go to login here we need to define dispatch is equal to use dispatch then dispatch mm, login user and pass the values okay so mm -mm, let me create one user monu paya and it's md one two three two seven two seven two sign up so user created successfully after that let's go to login page md one two three And if I click on login, then it is giving user login successfully. Now, if I inspect and go to Redux, go to Auth. So here we are getting ID, logged in user ID, first name, last name, email, mobile, and token. So now we will store this token to our local storage. So what you have to do? Go to user slice. Okay and if fulfilled so local storage dot set item mm, tk or we can directly write token comma action dot payload dot token okay if i check go to network or directly you can check here action dot payload dot token i think it's good okay control x paste it here okay so now if i try to log in again so it's md123 and if i log in then user login successfully okay now if i go to application so here we are getting our token and it is setting here okay one more thing we need to do okay local storage dot set item it is done mm -mm. yeah that's fine rest we don't need now so 
this is what we have to do for login api integration and this is how we can store our token to local storage okay so thank you guys thanks for watching this video let's meet in the next video if you are new then please subscribe to my channel like my videos and please make comments what better i can do okay thank you guys thanks for watching this video